Good morning, guys. I hope everybody's having a beautiful day. We have a looming question that we're getting ready to debunk, and that is, can you track your Tesla? Now, a lot of people who don't have much experience with Teslas typically think that it's just a grocery getter or a big iPad on wheels, but today we're gonna figure that out. We're gonna settle that myth once and for all. And uh, I'm definitely gonna show you guys how a Tesla performs on the track. Uh, we have actually a, a performance model here, so uh, we're gonna see a lot of those at the track today, hopefully, um, and we'll be able to kind of talk about some of the issues that you might come across when you do track your Tesla. Um, and as soon as our car is done charging, we're gonna head there. Angel Stadium in Anaheim uh, for an autocross event and we're going to be meeting a couple of members of Tesla Club SoCal. Shout out Tesla Club SoCal. I love you guys. Um, we're going to be meeting up with a couple of members of the club there. Uh, some Model 3s are going to be there. I know a lot of people are excited about tracking their Performance Model 3 and their Dual Motor Model 3 so hopefully we get to see that. Uh, me personally, I'm not going to be racing. I'm just going to be spectating today. Uh, but it still should be pretty exciting. I know that there's going to be some supercars there um, and some regular daily drivers there. Now, autocross, if you're not familiar with the sport, um, it is a motorsport in which you, you know, you traditionally will think of racing as driving in a straight line um, or, you know, whoever's the fastest will win type of thing. But autocross is unique in the sense that it really challenges the capabilities of the driver and whatever car the driver is 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 racing in so you're gonna see a lot of supercars that maybe won't get the best time and you're gonna see a lot of regular you know non-performance cars that might be getting some pretty wicked times depending on you know if you're you know driving like a savage or if you're just you know kind of scared to push your, the limits of your car or, you know you're just scared so um, we're gonna roll up to that event and link up with some people and I'll catch you when we get there There's no cargo space, okay? Um, there's no cargo space there. It's a big, heavy engine. So when you're turning, it causes your car to perform a little bit differently than a Tesla that has nothing inside the front. Um, so the weight is distributed a little bit differently. In a Tesla, the weight is all entirely under the car because of the weight of the battery. So your center of gravity is a little bit better. You're gonna probably get a little bit better handling. So it's gonna be interesting to see how we contend against those cars.
87 Mazda RX-7, all electric. But basically in this guy's garage. Apparently it's got a jet turbine that uh, makes a lot of noise. You gotta tell me about this thing. So first thing I notice is these stacks. Yeah. And and the second thing I notice is that I don't hear it. So tell me, tell me about this. Like, what, what is this? First of all, what is this? Basically, the starter in its life has a slightly modified, I'm assuming from the, uh, the aftermarket diff, uh, 1986. Mazda RX-7 GXL, so the luxury variant, no frills, no turbos, nothing. So how long does it take to charge? Uh, it takes five hours on 110 and it takes about two and a half on 220. Wow, that's not bad. Um, it, it's not bad, it's basically equivalent yeah, of a Leaf. Okay. Um, okay. The so advantage, it's 60 miles? 80. 80? Um, okay. The and it's a stick shift. It's a stick shift. <laughs> yeah, it's a stick shift. It's, it's a boxy oh, manual. Oh, so <laughs> you get a ton of torque out of it. What yes. kind of numbers is it putting down? Um, I mean? Before we swapped out the rear end uh, from a 4.3, it was getting about 35 foot pounds at the wheel. That is insane, my guy. And I never that did is it. Crazy. I never did it again because we blew out every fuse in the car. Hey, but it was worth it, right? Oh yeah. What is this? Oh, uh, Gosh. Wow. So I stuck a gas turbine. No a problem. This is a gas turbine. I don't even know what I'm looking at. It's, honestly, it's I see some. I see an exhaust. It's basically a really big jet engine that instead of shooting the jet exhaust out, it turns a turbine and turns a shaft. It's basically a helicopter engine. <gasps> what? And how long did you say this took you to put together? Uh, the entire build, uh, including testing and repairs and fixing things. About two years, two and a half years now. The beautiful thing of gas turbines is they won't burn anything as long as it'll burn. You wow. can pour scotch or old cooking oil into it, it would burn. Scotch. So, wow, this is insane. And this is basically equivalent size, weight, and capacity of, of a leaf. Dude, where do you put your golf clubs? Right over top of it. And, and Patrick, do you have like an Instagram or a YouTube channel or anything where we, I can plug you? And we we have an Instagram. There's not much on it um, because I I'm not very good with social media and keeping up with it. That's okay. I'm also not very good at taking pictures because I keep forgetting. That's okay. We'll take one right now. <laughs> Got it. What's uh, your Instagram? Follow this guy on Instagram. What's, what's your Instagram? Uh, at ERD Engineering. At ERD Engineering. This thing is. Cool. Uh, I heard that this thing makes a jet noise. It does. Can we do it? We're gonna do it! You think I'm, you think I'm gonna get kicked out for this? No, I won't kick you out. You think they'll kick me out? Uh, I won't tell them. You don't have to. <laughs> if they don't hear this, they're deaf. Uh-oh. And I can't help them. Oh, you just fired it up for these, these folks? Yeah. Listen to it. It's making like a oh, jet you're noise. Oh, yeah. Dude. You're gonna like this, guys. <laughs> wow, you can see the steam, there's steam coming out of this place. Electric RX-7, ladies and gentlemen. Electric RX-7. What's your red line? Patrick is, okay? Patrick is a savage. Dude. Mine Thank is you. 156. Thank you so much for your no time, man. This is a oh. Yeah, so I get there's a Tesla here if you're interested in that. I mean, that's not as impressive as, as a homemade RX-7. This guy made a car at home. And it has a jet in it. Alright guys, thanks for coming out with me to the autocross event here at Angel Stadium. It was pretty sick. If 
you're a fan of the content and you want to see more or you have any ideas of what you'd like to see, leave a comment below. Smash that like button and smash that subscribe button, all right? I hope you have a great day and keep it rolling. Keep it, keep it rolling. Keep it How are you? I missed you. It's been a while. And I just want to get in there, but I'm lost right now. So I gotta figure it out. And as soon as I find it, it's going down. And then there's yoga. You got yoga? Are we doing yoga? This is amazing. Uh, from a 4.3, it was getting about 3,400 pounds at the wheel. 3,400? And first. 3,400 foot pounds. That's enough to tow Earth. Let me pull out an APU out of That's one of like, your jets. I'm like, oh, no. where do you source parts? I mean, like, if something happens... The yeah, airport. You, the beautiful thing of gas turbines is they won't burn anything as long as it'll burn. You wow. can pour scotch or old cooking oil into it and it would burn. Scotch? Okay. Why you would waste good scotch, Right. I have no idea. Although it would be a fitting end for some of the blended shit I've drunk, I would say. <laughs> Take care, man. Well, that thing was crazy, man. I need something that makes some jet noises. I need some plane sounds. I need helicopter blades. If you're a fan of Keep It Rolling, if you want to see more content and see what we get into, smash that subscribe button, hit the like button, comment below. Tell me what you want to see. I'm out. you want to see tell me what you want and I'll do it okay let's let's grow together let's it's me and you I love you I'm out oh I didn't see you there I guess uh, I guess that's the end of the event